Hey guys, Matt here. Uh, I've got a lot of requests to do a video on Windows 10 technical preview, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, a few days ago, I wrote an article on my uh, one of my blogs, techynotes.net, uh, talking about new features that matter. Um, so you can go to that and read those. But I'll go ahead and show you kind of what I'm talking about here. So. Uh, the start menu is back. Uh, the start menu that we all used to know and love from Windows 7 and former is back. Um, they took it away in Windows 8. They made it look like bad and people hated it. So um, people largely tried to avoid Windows 8. Windows, Windows 8. Windows 8. <laughs> um, and um, so yeah, this is the new start menu. Still looks kind of new. Um, if you take a look at some of the uh, icons on the side, they look like, I don't know, it doesn't look like your old, old start menu, which is fine. But you have all the apps that you want to load right there, which is everything that's included in this build, this technical preview, uh, as well as like your documents. Um, I don't know what else. I guess that's it. <laughs> right now I haven't done anything, so that's all I have. Um, off to the side, we have these tiles. You know, they still, they still don't want to let go of this tile idea, and that's still there. So, so these tiles they bring me to another point here, which is Windows apps, the old Metro apps. The old Metro apps, when you launched them, they would go full screen, and it would just kind of like be sort of jarring. Like all of a sudden, this app is full screen. You don't know how to get out of it. Where's all your other stuff? And kind of freaked out people so if I click weather right here it no longer launches in full screen mode it's got a nice little sleek design nice little window and it's usable now um, people don't feel like they're just like locked into it so yeah I like that um, universal apps so this is more I would say this is more kind of targeted towards business users. Let's say you have a user on a Windows phone who uses Outlook. Well, Outlook on their phone will look the same on their tablet. It'll look the same on their desktop. That's the whole plan, at least, for universal apps. So, um, you know, from, from somebody who has to work in a business, a business every day, I mean, it's it's a lot less, tra you know, training that you have to do. So if, if I tell them this is how it works on their desktop, then if it's a universal app, it should work on their phone the, the exact same way. So, you know, most of you guys, I'd say 90% of you guys could care less about that. It's fine. Um, let's see. Continuum. You'll probably hear a lot about Continuum, but again, a lot of you guys could care less about that. This is kind of targeted towards those people who have um, like Microsoft Surface tablets. You're going to go ahead and take your tablet, you'll put it in your dock, your screen changes, you know, now we're in dock mode, the UI is in dock mode. So when you disconnect the tablet, you know, take the keyboard off, disconnect it from your dock, put it in your hands, Content, Continuum will automatically readjust your entire user interface to fit um, the, tablet, the tablet screen now. So, yeah, before you had to do... You know, all kinds of resizing by yourself. So, okay. So I've already covered, I don't know, some of the major features. It's kind of sad. The next one I'll go over is uh, Cortana. And I am would love to show you more about Cortana, but there's something here that just really pisses me off. If I turn Cortana on... I have to sign in with a Microsoft account. I don't want to. I don't want to. To use my OS, I don't want to sign into a Microsoft account. Everything you do in Windows now, they just push you towards a Microsoft account. When I built this virtual machine, I signed in with a local user, and I'm not kidding. A window popped up here and said, "Is there something is there some reason why you didn't sign in with your Microsoft account?" I don't know. I mean, I normally I could care less about people like tracking my privacy and stuff like that. I just I don't know. I'm just not that paranoid. But 
it is getting kind of annoying to where, you know, you have to use everything on your op oh, I'm stuttering here. Everything on your operating system is tied to a Microsoft account. I don't want that. So anyway, Cortana is supposed to be like Siri. You know, you can go ahead and talk, and she'll try to find shit on your computer and you know, launch uh, applications, search for a like a slide and a PowerPoint, whatever. But don't expect to use it if you don't have a Microsoft uh, account. So, bye. I'm not using that. Um, something I care about. Most people probably won't. DirectX 12. You know, gamers rejoice. Less CPU usage. So, that's all I know about DirectX, DirectX uh, 12 right now. A any version of DirectX that gets upgraded, it is good for me because I'm a big gamer. So, <laughs> um, the, the one thing I do like, though, I'll tell you this. All your settings now are in one place. If you click this little no new, uh, no new notifications tab, it brings open this window. And then you can go ahead and click all settings. And anything you want is right there that, that has to do with changing your computer in some way. So all your settings in one place. Love that. That's a huge thing for me. Um, so I'm going beyond my little script now. Okay. It's nice of them to do that. So one thing, if, if anybody from Microsoft is watching this, and I don't know. Nobody probably is, but listen, I love in Windows 7 when I right click something, I can say send to desktop. I know, I know you guys love to have users pin stuff to the taskbar, but man, a lot of my users love to have their, their icons on their desktop. So if you just right click, send to the desktop, I just want that feature back, please. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have time for today. Um, I've been working all day. I have to get out and enjoy some of this awesome weather in St. Louis now. So I'll see you guys.